Okay, so here we've got another parametric equation question. And the question uh, here, here's a curve, a parametric curve here in figure one. Uh, here's point A it tells us about. It says that it, the parametric is x is 3 sine t, y is sin, 2 sine 2t. Two Do notice here this is a double angle, this is a single angle. And t is between 0 and pi, it can equal 0. The curve meets the x-axis at the origin here and at point A. So at this point, you know for sure. At this point, you know x is 0 and y is 0. And at this point, you know that uh, y is 0, but x you don't know anything about. It says, find the value of t at O and the value of t at A. It says the region enclosed by the curve is rotated pi radians about the x-axis. Show that the volume of solid is, is as follows and find it using a substitution. Okay, let's have a go at the first part. Um, as I said, at this point, x is 0 and y is 0. And at this point, only y is equal to 0. Okay, so let's make y equal 0 here. So for part A, let's make y equal 0. And we're solving 2 sine 2t two equals 0, i.e. sine 2t two is 0. And therefore, 2t, um, we want between 0 and pi, so we're going to double up here. Um, uh, to find all the places where it's equal to 0, it's going to be 0 and pi and 2 pi. But we're actually going to ignore 2 pi because it's got to be less than this. So it's just those two values there. And therefore, t is equal to 0 or pi by 2. OK, so we don't know which one. But we do know at this point, x is also equal to 0. So we're going to solve 0 equals 3 sine t. So sine t equals 0. And this tells us that t is equal to 0 or pi. So, uh, which one is true in both cases? Well, this one, t must be 0 at uh, the origin. t must be 0 at the origin. So at this point here, t must be 0, which means that the only thing left uh, to be true is for x, For y to be equal to 0, at this point, it must be equal to pi by 2. t must be pi by 2, therefore, at this point. So we've done in part a, and we found that t is equal to pi by 2. So t equals pi by 2 at a. OK? Right, next, we'll rub that out. Uh, we want to... This region is swept around pi radians about the x-axis. Show that the volume of revolution of the solid form is given by the following. So the volume is going to be equal to pi, the integral um, between these two values, between 0 and pi by 2, of y squared, which is 2 sine 2t two all squared. Sorry, just to make clear, I'm using the formula pi integral t1 t2 y squared dx dt dt. Now dx by dt is clearly 3 cos of t with respect to t, which is the volume is going to be pi, the integral between 0 and pi by 2 is going to be um, 4 sine squared 2t uh, multiplied by 3 cos t dt. And if I actually tidy that up, I get what's required in the question pi, the integral between 0 and pi by 2 of 12 pi. I bring the pi in. It asked me to bring the pi in in the question. 12 pi, 4 times 3 is 12 times pi, sine squared 2t cos of t dt. There we go. Okay. And then it asks us to use the following substitution to evaluate that integral. So I'm going to rub this out here. And we're just going to do part C. So we're working out this integral here, the integral between 0 and pi by 2, 12 pi sine squared 2t cos t dt. They ask us to let u equal sine t. Okay? So, when t is equal to 0, um, 
we have sine zero is u, so u is zero. And when t is equal to pi by two, sine of pi by two is my new u value, so u is one. So it's clearly the integral between zero and one are u limits. Also, we could uh, du by dt is going to be equal to cos t. Okay, so therefore dt is du over cos t as follows. Okay, now we can try and uh, substitute in. The integral between u is 0 and u is 1. 12 pi stays as is because it's a number. Okay, sine squared 2t uh, cos t dt. Now, let's leave the sine squared 2t in currently. You've got your cos t and dt is actually du over cos t. Okay, so thankfully the cos t's cancel. However, you've got an issue with the uh, sine squared 2t. So we're going to have to do something. Now, sine of 2t is 2 sine t cos t. So sine squared 2t is all of this squared, which is 4 sine squared t cos squared t, which is 4 sine squared will be u squared, and cos squared will be 1 minus u squared. So we need to substitute that in here instead of this. So we have got the integral between 0 and 1. Take that 12 pi out, 12 pi out here. Sine squared 2t we said is 4u squared, 1 subtract u squared du. Now divide out the 4, factor out the 4, we have 36 pi, sorry not 36 pi, terrible, 48 pi, we have 48 pi, the integral between 0 and 1, u squared times 1, subtract u squared times u squared, which would be u squared, take away u to the 4 du. Now let's integrate, keep the 48 pi there, it's a third u cubed, subtract a fifth u to the 5, between 0 and 1. Keep the 48 pi there, substitute in 1, and you get a third, take away a fifth, and 1 third, take away 1 fifth, is 2 fifteenths, and you put zero and you get nothing, so 2 fifteenths, and then multiply that by the 48 pi, you get yourself 32 over 5 pi units cubed, and we're done, that's the volume. Okay, so quite a tricky question there, but if you kept your wits about you, you should be fine. Thanks for watching.